Welcome to Mother Teresa Colegio. Mother Teresa Colegio is a platform for the development of students' core gifts and a channel of serving others through discipleship, education, and entrepreneurship. Mother Teresa Colegio, or MTC, offers no tuition fee as subsidized by the government. And to help the scholars further, we are glad to give the following. Free books, free school uniform, free PE t-shirt, and ID. Mother Teresa Colegio envisions to be the top of the mind scholarship institution in the Philippines. Mother Teresa Colegio de Zambales. Mother Teresa Colegio de Zambales is now located at Maro Building, Palanginan Iba Zambales. MTC Zambales offers ABM, ICT, Gas, Industrial Arts, Home Economics, and Humes. Mother Teresa Colegio de Pampanga. Mother Teresa Colegio de Pampanga is located at Gabriela Silang Street, Corner MacArthur Highway, Santa Cruz, Lubao, Pampanga. MTC Pampanga offers ABM, ICT, Gas, Industrial Arts, Home Economics, and Humes. Mother Teresa Colegio de Noveleta. Mother Teresa Colegio de Noveleta is located at 037 San Juan Noveleta Capite. MTC Noveleta offers ABM, ICT, Gas, Arts and Design, STEM, Home Economics, and Dukes. And for preschool, elementary, and junior high school, here is Patnubay Academy. Patnubay Academy is located at 759 San Juan Noveleta Capite. Mother Teresa Colegio de Balatan. Mother Teresa Colegio de Balatan is located at Zone 5, Duran Balatan, Camarillo Sur. MTC Balatan offers ABM, ICT, Gas, Arts and Design, STEM, Home Economics, and Humes. Mother Teresa Colegio de Rica. Mother Teresa Colegio de Riga is located at San Roque, Iriga City, Camarina Sur. MTC Iriga offers ABM, ICT, Gas, Arts and Design, STEM, Home Economics, and Humes. Mother Teresa Colegio de Bula. Mother Teresa Colegio de Bula is located at Barangay Salvacion, Bula, Camarines Sur. MTC Bula offers ABM, ICT, Gas, Arts and Design, STEM, and Dukes. Noah's Academy Incorporated. Noah's Academy Incorporated is located at Navy Road, corner Magsaysay Street, Zone 4, South Seagull Village, Taguig City. Noah's Academy offers preschool and kindergarten, elementary, junior high school, 
and for senior high school, IBM, ICT, GATS, Arts and Design, Home Economics, Industrial Arts, and Views. Mother Teresa Colegio advocates passion-driven community, developing passionate above average students in their chosen crafts, allowing them to embrace their uniqueness and encourage them to strengthen their core as they bless the world with their gifts. Be Mathesians, be champions. The NOAA's Academy Incorporated of Taguig, our Patnubay Academy of Cavite, and of course, the group of schools of Mother Teresa Colegio de Noveleta, Mother Teresa Colegio de Pampanga, Mother Teresa Colegio de Zambales, Mother Teresa Colegio de Iriga, Mother Teresa Colegio de Balatan, Mother Teresa Colegio de Bula, to the parents and graduates, congratulations. Madam Oli, Maricar, and the staff, and all the teaching and non-teaching of this group of schools, I must say, saludo ako sa inyo. Amidst the pandemic, you are growing. The school is growing. And you will never stop providing quality education for our learners, specifically the Filipino learners. Pagpatuloy niyo lahat yan. Kasama niyo ako dyan sa Tagumpay. Maraming maraming salamat. For this opportunity of having uh, been engaged and being part of your um, commencement or graduation exercises. Wow. Uh, we all miss meeting face to face. Lahat tayo ay kakaiba. We are all in this pandemic and uh, I must say this we live in a very challenging times. As they say, this happens once in 100 years. And for us, living and surviving this pandemic is indeed a God's blessing. Congratulations to our graduates, to our uh, completers for having weathered the, the storm. I must say this is one of the biggest storms that not only knocked the educational system but the entire, uh, the entire country and even the entire world. No? Um, it's not easy to uh, continue providing quality education in the midst of this pandemic. I think this itself is, an, is already an achievement, especially for the schools. Why? Because you opted to open schools for school year 2020-2021. Hindi kayo napagabi ng pandemic. There are schools who opted not to open classes. 
there are schools who are forced to close because there are no enrollees. Congratulations because, as I have said, that itself is a victory over the pandemic. Graduates, consider yourself truly blessed and truly fortunate because you have this opportunity of pursuing education amidst pandemic. If you ask your lolos and lolas during the war time, for four years during the Second World War, Education stop. Wala pong pumasok sa halos apat na taon dahil sa gera. Now, we are facing an invisible enemy and we do not even know how long will this pandemic last. For 2021, school year 2021, we have to continue with the distance learning. When I say distance learning system, it can either be an online distance learning or modular distance learning whatever distance learning you are applying i commend you for that to our learners consider yourself very very blessed because your parents are able to provide you with the education you truly deserve sa mga magulang na alam kong hindi po madali ang pinagdadaanan natin lahat. Because this modular distance learning, this online distance learning is all new to us. But you can either look a glass with half water, either half full or half empty. But I think enrolling your children or supporting your children this is school year. It's an indication that you're looking the glass half full, not half empty. You use the pandemic as an opportunity for your children to learn and to adopt new flexible learning system. Don't ever think that they don't learn anything. Wag niyo pong isipin na lahat ay papasa. No, it's not that. Consider that under the new system, of flexible learning system which is online distance or modular distance new skills can be developed new theories and concepts can be can be developed and your children will become more proactive uh, learners they will become more law abiding citizen they will become more productive individuals let's not look at this as a disadvantage or uh, let's not look at this situation as some excuse for not pursuing further knowledge or theories. Huwag po natin isipin, ah, walang matututunan yan kung lagi lang pababad ang mata sa computer. Uh, huwag po natin isipin na ganun. If you learners, if you're using your computers for four hours with your um, uh, playing with your computers, channel that in a more positive note. Gamitin nyo sa pagkakatuto yung computer nyo, hindi sa paglalaro mo lang ng uh, ML nyo or kung ano-ano mang uh, computer or game application that you're using. Channel it in a more positive ways. Use the computer as a global classroom because in a click of a finger, you know, there are wide arrays of information that you can use. But under this pandemic, assessment is based on honesty. Why I said honesty? Because Teachers don't see you answering your modules. Teachers don't see you um, doing your research. Our outputs is based on what you have submitted to us, either online or either through modules. So I said honesty because we rely that the learners are the ones or the students or the pupils are the ones who answered it, not the parents or not the guardian. So remain honest in performing your task kasi kung hindi, kung iba ang gumagawa nun, ay hindi po kami ang niloloko nyo kundi yung sarili nyo rin. Okay? Um, to our parents, I mentioned earlier, it's not easy that uh, uh, you are uh, putting your children to school because uh, figuratively and literally 
nasa school sila pero nasa bahay sila sa bahay sila natututo na ito you all must say you realize now hindi pala madali ang ginagawa ng mga guro you all you experience it now at may marami po tayong may mga bata po when I went over some schools and I see classrooms empty I could not help but uh, feel a bit emotional because I said um, nakakamiss yung mga bata so I think sa mga teachers na nandito ngayon, I think you all feel the same way. We miss our learners. And I think the learners also would say that we miss our teachers. And to the parents, as I have mentioned, use that as an opportunity. Gawin yung bonding time yung pagtuturo at pagkakali ito. Make it a learning process or a growing process as a family. Hindi lang yung bata ang natututo, kasama po tayo dyan. Because as a um, when you when there's personal touch in teaching well learning can be very very easy so um alam ko may trabaho kayo you you still have your work to consider and you have your time uh, for your uh, tutorial uh, session with your kids but we all know the value of education the fact that you enrolled your children under the new uh, under the new normal, that means you put premium on education. So congratulations, parents. And to the teachers, just like the Lugaw, it's very essential. Your role as teachers is very, very significant. Huwag niyo isipin na homo yung mga bata ay nasa bahay na ngayon at may mga magulang na natuturo doon. At once a week, lang nila kayo na engage through submission of modules or even the engagement system is on a daily basis. And it can be non-personal because you don't get to see them face to face. Consider yourself very, very relevant nowadays. So how do you make yourself relevant? Well, you have to adjust to the new modality of distance learning. Nakakalungkot um, because there are teachers who opted to retire because they are not computer literate. Isinara na nila yung puso nila sa bagong sistema ng pagtuturo. Huwag po tayong maging ganun. No one is too old to learn. No one is too old to adapt to the new system. So, to our learners, I mentioned earlier, feel the importance of education now. Alam niyo, mas maharte kayo. Kasi, we opted to offer academic ease, not academic freeze. When you say academic freeze, wala muna, wala muna, wala muna mag enroll But we did not opt to that. There is no option, hindi natin option yun. Kasi in imagine kung hindi tayo nagpatuloy ng edukasyon at hindi natin alam kung until when this pandemic will end. So, ilang taon natin, hindi natin alam kung maabutin pa ba ito ng 2022. So, what will happen to your, to your two years or to your one year? As I have mentioned, sabi nga natin, we can never return or we can never bring back the lost time. So, it's a great opportunity and it's a blessing that we are pushing through with providing quality education to the institution, to the school. I congratulate you our private school partners for providing quality education amidst pandemic. Sumabay kayo sa amin. You, sumabay kayo sa DepEd, you never stop. I hope we are all in this together. This is a challenging times. This is a new experience we are all in. I hope we may not see face to face and greet each one, but uh, by adjusting and by coming up with this, better individuals, better families, better school is an option that we have to look into. I would like to end with this picture that I would like to present to you. You know, when I, uh, the first time I saw this on the news, uh, this was featured when uh, uh, we are implementing. Uh, the learning continuity plan wherein all schools are adjusting to the new setup of the flexible learning system. And I'm touched because um, this picture shows a thousand messages. 
Indian messages. Uh, this shows how a child really values education. He believes that only education can free him from poverty, from illiteracy, and from all other fears that he may have to face in life as he grows. So, sana po yung support ka sa inyo ay nandyan. To the graduates, congratulations. To the parents, congratulations. To the whole institution, maraming maraming salamat. Pinabati ko kayo at nakasama namin kayo sa pagbibigay ng kalidad ng edukasyon sa hamon ng pandemya. Congratulations! Dear Batch 2021, You are an amazing human being, Smadishan. Your unwavering leadership, your batchmate, and dedication in the school services are very impressive and commendable. Shining as you do academically. Going well beyond learning to meet the requirements. I love how you engage so deeply, especially in contemplating on the wise of what has to be learned and to how you commit yourself to the applications of the learning process in a creative way. I truly know that it is hard to envision in what is the future ahead of us, but I am positive that with your persevered effort and hard work, you can pass through these trying times and will surely enrich who we all are as a family members, friends, professionals, community leaders, and volunteers for the years to come. Always believe that great challenges bring forth great opportunities. Even this COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted your normal routines. You must keep focusing on your goals and never be disrupted for this week. Success will be yours. Just keep on fighting and moving up. You got this. Congratulations and have the best of luck to your new journey. God bless you all. Sir James. Welcome to Mother Theresa Colegio de Zambales Incorporated. Second recognition exercises. De la Raga Jamis Honor. Good honor. Most compassionate student. Cabal Angeline May L. Good honor. Best in philosophy. Kalusud James A. Good honor. Best in physical education and most reliable student. The Tubio Sonny E. Reeves Ovis, most passionate student. Rate Shireen D. Reeves Ovis, best in mathematics. Lastimosa Jasmine D. Reeves Ovis. Valdez Patrick Joey P. With honors, most confident and most cooperative student. Ethan Remeline D. Academic Achievement. Ricardo Casey T. Academic Achievement. Salazar Lilani P. Academic Achievement. Eliza E. Outstanding Performance in Communication. Salazar Maria Nina D. Most Enthusiastic Student. Tita Danica. Most Enthusiastic Student. Benito Rosemary D. Good Honors. Back in Science. Jason R. Academic Achievement and Most Active Participation. Tagman CCF Academic Achievement. Baluyot Maui E. Academic Achievement. Valencia Anaki ZB. Academic Achievement. Victoria Sarah Nicole D. Most Ladies Student. 
Danikina Vanessa Hill, most enthusiastic speakers. Lakiron Yamila Mimi B, most passionate speakers. Kariyadon Lin C, give honors. Outstanding performance in communication. Tonya Polan and Lin A, give honors. Congratulations, Batch 2020-2021. Pay tago, pay tayong lahat sa patnubay ng may kapal. Ano mang mira ang siyang dumaan. Rating ng pangarap Di tayo kayang buwagin Mga pangarap mararating pa rin Matibay ang sandigan Pagkat kasama siya natin Pagreresa ko Teresa Toledo, matibay na santigan at dubay at nawa higit na takila ka. Karunungan na siyang tulog mo, pagtiis at tinuhubog mo.
narito ako nagpapasalama sa iyo purihin ka sambahin ka buong puso't kaluluwa narito ako Nagpapasalamat sa iyo Narito ako Nagpapasalamat sa iyo Be Mathesians, be champions.